Welcome to the Devil Row Committee of Pro Wrestling, presented by the Idiot Radio Network, offering a weekly look into the world of professional wrestling with guest interviews, news, results, and much more. Now here's your host, Stephon Devil. Yeah, we are back. Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling, Stephon Devereaux. And wrestling fans, we have a huge show today. We've got a lot of stuff to get to today. Uh, had some fun last night. Had some business to handle. Yeah, more ways than one. Just saying, I made your boy show up. And I'm not even you know, doing the things that I, you know, usually do. But I've been um, having some fun. Recently, with this whole uh, fight society situation, PWX, <laughs> we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But um, some huge news! If you read the rundown for the show that I sent out just a little while ago, you would understand uh, what we're going. What we have planned today. You would know. Um, but you know, and usually I start the show out with a rant. I know. I give you my opinion about what's going on and so forth, and. Uh, professional wrestling locally and uh, this week we're not going to do that I'm going to give you something I'm going to start to show off with something that I think you people would enjoy uh, especially me because I mean I grew up uh, NWA fan before there was WWE or WWF there was the NWA there was world class championship wrestling there was other small organizations. Uh, actually, I really can't say that uh, UWF was a small organization because it truly wasn't. But, um, whew, man, what's going on with the NWA today? Well, last night at Combat Zones, Cage of Death 19, Combat Zone Wrestling, CZW, which is a, another great organization, they held a world heavyweight championship match. What match was that? A world heavyweight championship match took place at Cage of Death, 19. Man. Now, I didn't see the show. I seen um, this match. I seen this match. A friend sent it over to me uh, late last night. And I seen this match. And I thought I wasn't going to, uh, eh, you know, I do, I, I skip through stuff. But no, this was a very entertaining match for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. That match was NWA champion Tim Storm taking on Nick Aldis. Now, you probably remember who Nick Aldis is if you see his face. Probably not familiar with his name. That's not the name he went by And TNA And I'm not even going to bring that up I'm not, because there's no point There is no point, I mean he did some good things there in TNA But what he did last night Was historical Nick Aldis Beat Tim Storm To become the new National Wrestling Alliance World Heavyweight Champion let me say that again. Tim Storm lost his NWA championship to Nick Aldis. How do you feel about that? Give us a call. 347-308-8709. Again, that's 347-308-8709. Now, Nick Aldis is your new champion. What does this mean, competitors? Now, a little backstory going into this. Um, Tim Storm was injured last week in the match, uh, suffered some broken ribs. He made some statements on Twitter, on NWA YouTube channel, and so forth about this match last night. And he said he would be there. The guy shouldn't even, he shouldn't have been in the ring. Let's just say that. But if you listen to the man's interview, you can go to YouTube, 
National Wrestling Alliance YouTube. We wasn't able to get it clear uh, in time for the show because we didn't know this was going to take place last night, of course. But he said he was going to be there. He said he would defend his championship. He said this is what he does. This is who he is. He is the NWA world champion, and he would defend his title against all comers. He said he would, and he did. I give him credit. Yes, I do. Because, uh, let's be honest, a man with broken ribs, flying across the country, back and forth, back and forth, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. But Tim Storm deserves the credit. I'm very proud of him. He was a great NWA world champion. This man was taking on all challengers. And not too many NWA champions that I can remember did what he did. Tommy Dreamer came at him. What did a championship match? Joseph Cus, the one who injured him, another one of those challengers. But what he was able to do when he showed up to CZW, Cage of Death 19 last night, what he was able to do for that match, I mean, I, man, Tim Storm deserves all the credit in the world. Now let's go to the guy who became the new NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Nick Aldis. Fan worker. Probably one of the best in the world. And matter of fact, he's proved it last night when he became World Champion. One of the best in the world. I've always been a fan of Nick's. I thought Nick had the potential was there. I really believed that he would be in the WWE not now, but he's not there. But he went on a, a different path. And that path led him to the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Whether or not you, the wrestling fan, agree, Nick taking that path, you cannot deny the results. The results are he is now, he is now the N. WA World Heavyweight Champion. Now let's go down a list of people who have held this title. And Nick Aldis is on this list. But let's go down a list. Everybody brings up Ric Flair. Of course, he's always the first name they bring up. But I'm going to go Ric Flair. I'm going to go Lou Faz. Harley Race. The American Three and Dutty Woods. The American Three and Dutty Woods. Should I say Ronnie Garvin? <laughs> Should I say Ronnie Garvin? He was the NWA World Champion at one time. Seriously. Adam Pierce. Barry Windham. Not say Adam Pierce because we got some news on him later. Aldis is on that list now. How do you feel about that? You can send me an email. That's Stephon Devereaux, gmail.com. That's S-T-E-P-H-O-N-D-E-V-E-R-E-U-X at gmail.com. I will read him this show, during the show, last second, of course, listener email. But how do you feel about Nick Aldis becoming the world champion of the NWA? Is it a good thing, bad thing, what? My opinion is, this is a huge move. Tim Storm, and also I can't forget Daniel Bryan, former NWA champion as well. God, oh my goodness, Bryan Danielson at the time. I can't forget him. Matter of fact, it was Daniel or Bryan Danielson who kept the NWA World Championship alive during some of those down years. He was traveling everywhere. All around the world, defending this title, bringing some credibility back to this championship. Dan Severin, another one. But anyway, 
How do you feel about this? Huge, huge move. Huge move. I feel it's a huge move, of course. It seems like Billy Corgan and one of the great wrestling producers of all time, Dave Marquez, they have a vision. They have a plan on how they're going to put the NWA back on the map. And I feel they found the right guy to do it with Nick Aldis. The guy can talk. He has to look. And he's a good worker. He's a great worker, in my opinion. Some people say he's not, but I think he's a great worker. I look at different things, you know, his attributes that I like. Man. Do you believe that this actually helped the NWA? I'm going to say yes again. You you cannot go wrong with a guy like this. You can't. You cannot go wrong with a talent like this on top of your company. David Marquez and Billy Corgan, they get it. They understand. David Marquez, with his television background, Billy Corgan, with his promotions background, and I'm not even going to go into the fact that he's a musician, but the guy's been able to make money on uh, on his own for years without needing a record label. Exactly. Handles his own tours. Yeah. That's Billy Corgan. They get it now. They absolutely get it. Who's going to challenge Nick Aldis for this championship? You're going to automatically think that Tim Storm is, Tim Storm is going to get a rematch. Yeah. Former champions, if they lose a the title, they always get a rematch. So you have to believe he's going to get a rematch. Can we see a Tommy Dreamer versus Nick Aldis match? I believe we could. Here's the name that I want to throw out there that I believe in my heart. If these two men, David and Billy, Come together, sit down with a man, talk to him. You don't have to do a full run. Just come in there for a match. Some promos to build that matchup, of course. The way the internet is now, you can just throw those match, those promos on YouTube, spread it out. Yeah. And it will get the attention that you want for this match, I'm going to say. That I think that could actually be... The match that puts puts the NWA back on the map, front and center. It may not beat the WWE, but it sure as hell will beat TNA, Impact, whatever it's called now. You're going to laugh when I say this, but the guy you want to bring in is CM Punk. That's the guy you want to bring in. Even if it's for one match, you need some type of spotlight on the NWA right now. And I thought it could, could have been Daniel Bryan once his contract was up with the WWE, but no, um, I'm not thinking that anymore. So I'm going back to the guy, the top free agent out there besides Chris Jericho. CM Punk versus Nick Aldis for the NWA Heavyweight Championship. The World Championship. A belt that is defended all around the world, actually. I mean, people, yeah, they forget that. For, for one show. Now, if CM Punk says, I'll do it for three, four, five, six, seven, eight shows, hey, then you got to put the title on Punk. You really have to. Because he's the one guy who will put the spotlight on that championship. But if he's just there for a show, then you can find a way for him to shine that spotlight on this match on Nick Aldis, make Aldis look like he is who he is, the world champion. But I honestly believe that he's the man you want for this job, to put this belt on the line. To put this belt on the line against CM Punk, Excuse me, to put it on a... uh, And that's the man you want. You want CM Punk. 
What do you think? Send me an email. Stephondevero at gmail.com or give us a call 347-308-8709. Man. So, we had a championship match at CZW, title change tens, our new world champion. The NWA is Nick Aldis. That's big news. So, of course, I had to open the show with that. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, I got some news for you guys. Some news. Uh, And also, I want to tell you about a young wrestler in the WWE who, man, it's not good. It's not looking good for him right now. (sighs) Man, and also, after 23 years, a company says goodbye, but a new one is born. You're listening to the Devereaux Committee here on the Idiot Radio Network. Stephon Devereaux. We'll be right back after this break. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning. 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck, and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash wheels. You're listening to Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Pizza and Gyro Express, 801 O'Neill Boulevard in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. For menus, coupons, specials, and catering info, visit our website at pizzaandgyroexpress.com. Order online or by phone at 412-672-2182. Don't forget about the lunch buffet and drink every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. for just $10. The original Pizza and Gyro Express. Don't settle for anything less. We are back. Stefan Devereaux, Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling here on Idiot Radio Network. Wrestling fans, I want to thank you for joining us again. Um, also, uh, New Year, contracts, so forth and so forth, new sponsors. Um, why don't you look to advertise your business on Idiot Radio Network, any of our shows, so forth. Uh, we've got the Double D Show, the number, the top, actually, let me get this right, the best podcast in Pittsburgh. Belongs to the Idiot Idiot Radio Network. It belongs to us, the Double D Show. Yes. They're going to be live this afternoon, too, on the Idiot Radio Network. Again, I love plugging that. Um, But if you want to sponsor any of the shows, Neil Haley's show, uh, my show, uh, Nerd NATO, send the staff me an email at idiotradionet at gmail.com, and one of our sales reps will get to you. I think we got... Well, two, but anyway, one of them, they'll get back to you. And uh, hopefully we can promote your business here on the station and you can have some fun because, you know, I love promoting stuff. Um, but, man, I, actually, I, I was told I got I actually have not <laughs> We do got a response about this NWA thing, uh, which is cool. So we'll get into that in listener email. Um, but um, we're going to get into some headlines. Uh, which is interesting because this week's headlines is kind of interesting, kind of mixed and you know more fun. But um, people were asking; they wanted to talk about. I was getting text this morning when the news broke, but uh, they wanted to talk about Rich Swan. And to be honest with you, I would right now, but I don't want to get into that that conversation for the simple fact uh, we don't know all the facts. You know, the story just broke. So I'm just going to say I'm going to wait until next week, of course. And uh, I may do a special. I may do a special Devereaux Committee um, in a couple of minutes, you know, two-minute break or whatever um, during a week to update you on this Rich Swan situation. Talented individual. Talented individual. And I just hope that um, these rumors are true, but what happened? They are, uh, 
just hope he can get his head together and, you know, we can move on from that. But anyway, let's get to the headlines. Ronda Rousey. Wow. Sources say Ronda Rousey is close to signing her deal with the WWE. Now, the reports, there's so many mixed reports, but uh, the report that I believe the most from a source that I have, the situation, um, a source says he'll, she'll debut at WrestleMania 34. And the rumors are she'll, she'll take on Charlotte Flair. Now, I don't know if I would actually want that to be her first match in the WWE, a match against Charlotte Flair. Charlotte has really come along, you know, and if, if you listen to what she says, her, her stories, you know, this was something she never thought she would do. That was wrestle professionally. She never even thought she would ever get this business, of course. But she's in it, and she's one of the top wrestlers in the game. Not female wrestlers, one of the top wrestlers in the game. Now, Ronda Rousey, if this is your first match, you'll be taken care of, I know that for a fact. But I just, for Charlotte at WrestleMania, it's a big night for uh, the champions, the stars of the WWE, and uh, even the undercard guys. Um, but I just, Ronda Rousey, man, that's, man. I just, I, I would love to see her do something else. You know, will this match be huge for Charlotte's career? Yes. But the purest, I would just love to see Charlotte take on um, another wrestler, Natalia maybe. I think that would be an awesome match for, for Mania. Um, so I'm like, hey, between in this one. You know, you, you got an opinion on this match? You can give us a call, 347-308-8709 or email us and we'll discuss it um, at the end of the show. But I don't know. I don't know. Here's the thing. Who wins? Who wins? You really can't have Ronda lose this match. You really can't. Because it didn't, she's brought in for what? Yeah. You really can't have her lose this match. On the other hand, you really want Charlotte to lose this match? Of course not. So the WWE has some issues here. And about the Ronda, Ronda losing this, I mean, the last time people seen her in, you know, performing, fighting, she took an L. She took an L. Amanda Nunes spanked her. So this, I don't think this is the smart move. You know, put her in a ring against somebody that, you know, that uh, could at least give her a good match. And that she can go over on. But if these rumors are true about Charlotte Flair, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, We'll just have to see about that as time goes on. Uh, We have a call? Caller! You're on Devereaux Committee. Def on Devereaux. Yeah, your hero. What's up? Yeah, so how are you going to be – on here, you know, you t- you always talk about your Devereaux committee. You ain't even on here promoting what your guys did this week. C- come on, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought you was hey, a promoter. Whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. Is this Tank? Is this Tank? You heard. You know who it is. You know what? These daggone producers don't know how to screen calls anymore. This is what I mean. I said specifically I don't want him on the show no more after what he did a couple of weeks ago. He made me cut. Hey, Tank, how are you doing, buddy? Uh, we were going to get yeah, into that. Uh-huh. We were going to into that we were going to get into that but I was going to wait because you know we since Stephon Devereaux and my guys we are main eventers something that you haven't you know been a part of in how long but since yeah, our guys okay. are main eventers I was going to wait until the end of the show to celebrate but still want to talk about it hey we can talk about it we can talk about how my guys and huh, what we did last night, well, I, I wasn't there because I had obligations. But what my guys did last night, 
at that daggone place called PWX. <coughs> anyway. I'm talking, you're, you're not even you're not even talking about the biggest news though. What about what about your guy? Isn't isn't Shane Malice your guy? Hey, 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 hey. Don't you ever bring up Shane Malice pretty, without pretty, my permission. I'm pretty sure Shane hey, I'm just trying to help you out here. You ain't keeping up with your guys, man. Shane's out here winning titles and you're not even promoting it. And and, and then, hey, hey, hey. I know Shane's out here winning titles. I've just been busy lately. You know, I'm producing a, t- a radio show. We're in the works for a Devereux Committee TV show. See, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing big things out here. Uh-huh. I'll talk to Shane later. I can't believe you. Yeah, I, I wanted to break that news. I don't know, Devereux. I think you're slipping. I think you're slipping. Devereux. I think, I think you're getting forgetful in your old age. Hey, 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 I'm not old. I'm experienced, okay? And number two, Devereaux doesn't forget anything. Devereaux just likes to, hmm, when I announce something, when I ex- express how I feel about something, it has to be on a center stage. I was getting rid of all the daggone WWE crap and talking about the NWA. I was getting rid of all that crap so I could clear the stage for my guys. How do you know nah, that? Sure you were. Me? How do you know we don't Shane have Shane coming on, on the show? Come on. You would have been promoting that all week. Well, no. Well, see, Shane's celebrating right now, actually. Um, yeah. I'm just telling you what I, you know. I was talking to people, and he's celebrating right now. So don't I'm hearing this rumor. Yeah. I'm hearing this rumor. You know, your Devereux committee is supposed to be, you know, unstoppable and all this stuff. So <laughs> Yes, we are. Why, uh... Why is there a rumor going around that you're trying to get Riot City banned from the UWF show on February the 3rd, then? You know what? There's too many damn leaks in that office. See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. That was not supposed to be talked about again. Tank, those rumors? I'm not going to I think, you uh, I think. I think you're scared. Are you, are you nervous that, uh, no. that Sicken would uh, take his title back from, from Bender, or? No, 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 no. You know what? With this lawsuit pending, I have to make, I got to protect myself here. And it, it may not be up to me. Hey, this could be, you know, a judge who decides to make sure that he's not at the show. He, I, I'm dead serious. And, you know, I know a bunch of judges. I mean, they're all good friends of mine. You know, we hang out at the, at the Duke Kane Club downtown. But, hey, let me tell you something. What goes on between myself and sick, it has nothing to do with you. You're not a wrestler anymore. You're not a promoter anymore. I have, I have, you, you're just a fan. I think that really uh, bothers you. You are a fan. See, that's what I'm you saying. You must be living man. under a rock this week or something, aren't you? What are you talking you about? You must be living under a rock this week or something, huh? Hey, I'm producing TV, radio. I'm doing a lot of things right now. So, I mean, I, yeah, I'm kind of uh, busy. And my assistant's busy, too. You uh, didn't uh, see the big announcement then. What big announcement? About uh, UCW still undisputed on March 17th, featuring the Honky Tonk Man. Hold on. What? Yeah, that's right. Undisputed Championship Wrestling is coming back March 17th? You heard it. No, 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 no. See, I think you're slipping since you moved up there to Butler. You're up there. You're getting uh, you're getting the Jew Rogers brain going on up there with you, huh? Oh God. Okay, guys, get on top of this now. Hey, 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 Tank, Tank. How have you been? I mean, it's so long, man. How have you been? Uh huh. No, no, I'm dead serious. There's rumors going around that you're uh bringing back um UCW. Is that true? I just kind of just told you that. Oh, you did? Tank, well, how about this? Remember what you were talking about before? All the things I call – Tank, you are such a nice guy. You know why you're such a nice guy? Because you always forgive people. You're a very forgiving man. This is what I like about you, Tank. This is why I love Tank. Dude, you are the man. 
Chris the Tank Payne is the man. There is, and I've always said there was no better promoter than you. Listen I'm different. To, listen listen there to was this better, guy no, sucking up now. Listen was, to you sucking there was, up. There was no better wrestler than you. Remember that? Remember the matches that you had? Oh, man, those days. Hey, and then when you got robbed by that one guy who was up in the WWE, you know, the other guy, that little James Ellsworth kid, yeah, when, when he robbed <laughs> you that one time for your championship, I was right there fighting for you, man. I cried. I, I literally had tears in my eyes. I tried to come to the ring to help you that night, but there was nothing I can do. You know, I, yeah, I was in the back taking care of business. But, so, uh, about, uh, so, so uh, you're saying that um, <laughs> you're really calling to book me, right? <laughs> Am I what? You're, not gonna, you're you're gonna book me, right? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, you kind of have a tendency to not show up, according to another company that's been going around here. Hey, look, I don't have to show up I, as long as I have some type of presence on the show. The show become the show to be a C. And I automatically take it to an A. If you got an A show, by the time I get on it, when I'm on a show, it becomes A plus, plus, plus. That's what I do. That's what I do. When you put Devereaux and the Devereaux Committee on that card, headline, headline by the Devereaux Committee, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Well, I was wrong with you talking Here's here's the thing, though. Uh, You're... um... Your annex with UWF with wanting to get people suspended off of shows because you may not like them or fear them. So that's hey, bro, you got UWF. Got... Because Rocket City's Most Wanted will be at UCW. Are you serious? As well as a host of other fan favorite wrestlers that we'll get into announcing over the next few weeks. I'm not liking what I'm hearing here, thank you. You see, and you keep bringing up this UWF thing. You have nothing to do with UWF, so stay out of my business, okay? You sound like these daggone people out here who keep saying, oh, why are you doing this and doing that? It's my business. So you got nothing to do with I'm thinking about showing up February 3rd just to see how this all goes down. No, you don't need to be there on February 3rd. You don't need to be there just like that team, Ride City. Just like Ride City will not be there because my friends have told me that it has been ordered by my friend, the judge, that Riot City will not be allowed within 100 feet of Stephon Devereaux, so that means they cannot be in that building. Oh, this is Well, so see, the thing is, though, is that I've been invited, though, to UWF because I kind of have a working relationship with the men in charge there, and uh, they're, uh, they're going to let me, uh, you know, Promote that the UCW show is March 17th there, so. Hey, man. So I'll be there. We're going to see hey, how hey, this hey, all goes hey, down man. with the Devereaux committee. No, 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 no. You know what? See, this is what I mean about you. This is what I mean about you. You know what? And we got to go to our break soon. But before we go to this, let me tell you something, punk. Let me tell. Damn, he's a promoter again. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, damn. Oh, I just you know what? No disrespect to you, but let me tell you this: if you do not book the Devereaux Committee in UCW, I am going to make sure it will be the worst mistake of your life, the worst mistake that you will ever make in professional wrestling, the worst mistake that you could ever dream of, because. Besides you, you know, not having a sellout, because, you know, that's what we do. We bring sellouts to Devereaux Committee. Fans love us. But you will sure. also be missing out. <laughs> you will also be missing out on the greatest wrestling crew in professional wrestling right now. Let me remind you of who I have on my I have. Well, let, me, let, me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, mm-hmm. I know who's in the group. Well, I, I'm not worried about that. Yeah. So this is what, this is what I'm going to do. Breaking news yeah. right here on the Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling. Yeah. I like I, that. I, I'll throw you a bone. I'll throw you a bone. On March 17th. So you got me announcing stuff before I'm even ready to do this. All right. All right. 
On March 17th, at the Collier Fire Hall, 404 Collier Road in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, it's at the Social Hall, March 17th, we're going to have two Devereaux committee members, Pat Anthony, Shane Malice, the team known as Viral, against Riot City's Most Wanted. What? Whoa, that whoa, sounds whoa, like a match hold on. to me. No, 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 no. Tank, 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 tank. Think about this. You might want to think about this one, okay? Why would you even set that up knowing that what I'm about to do to Riot City? Why would you even do that? Tank, I'm trying Bro, to keep my guys them, away from those them, guys. You don't want them in town. You don't want them in town on February 3rd, so I figure March 17th is enough time that they'll have enough built-up uh, anger and aggression to want to take out on you guys. And uh, before I Tank. go, before, before I go, uh, just let uh, – your captain know that there's a surprise waiting for him on February the 3rd. Tank, 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 tank. Can we please think about this for one, just, just one second. Can we please think about this? Please. I'm begging you one second. I thought you had to go to a break. Damn it. Oh, okay. We got to go to a break. I will discuss this with my audience. When we come back here on a Devereux committee of pro wrestling, Oh, God, I cannot believe he's doing this to me. We'll be right back to this break. Energy Angel Solution, alternative healing services. Do you need some relaxation in your life? Is your mind feeling sluggish? Does your body hurt? Have you been feeling off balance and just not centered lately? Energy Angel Solutions, LLC, offers healing that considers the energy of the whole person body, mind, and energy for optimal health and wellness. For more information, visit our website at energyangelsolutions.com. Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Does your dog or cat need some much-needed attention and pampering? Money Paws, full grooming salon for dogs and cats, featuring full-service dog and cat grooming. Bath and brush, haircuts, nails, ears, teeth, and rear end cleanup. All done with extra love and attention. It's Muddy Paws. Schedule an appointment today at 412-207-8250. For all your heating and cooling needs, service, and installation, contact our friends at Complete Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning. 412-513-3001. Doesn't your family deserve Complete Comfort? No, I don't care. Turn it now. You know what? You're going to make me wait through that. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You talk this big game. You talk this big game. Let me tell you who I am. I'm Stephon Devereaux. I am the host of the Devereaux Committee. I am the owner of the Devereaux Committee. You know what I do? I inflict pain in people's lives. Why do I do that? Why? Because I can't. Because I can't. Let me tell you something. You revealing what we're doing at Sick In and Riot City for February? Oh, you're going to pay for that one. And then you think, you really think that we're, I'm going to put the top tag team in professional wrestling today viral in the ring with those thugs? With those thugs? With those thugs? Those, oh! I'm going to calm down. I'm going to make myself very clear, Chris. You bringing back Undisputed Championship Wrestling, a place that I, a place that I, Stephon Devereaux, made his bones at for years. I spent a lot of time with that company. And I threatened you two weeks ago, do not bring this company back. I told you, don't bring it back. And if you thought about bringing it back, that after I was done burying PWX, which we did last night, I was going to go and dig up the carcass of UCW, of Undisputed Championship Wrestling, and I was going to drive the stake right in the middle of his daggone heart. Tank, 
what you just did to me, you ambushed me. You're going to pay for that. March 17th. <laughs> still undisputed? Okay. March 17th will not be called still undisputed. It will be called still Devereaux's bitch. Because that we're going to do the Rad City. If they even make it. <laughs> if they even make it. Because there's no guarantee. Those guys could be in jail. Told you, they're thugs. Why do you think I called my friend the judge to have him to have him put that out? He drew up that order, and those guys are no longer around, allowed around me within 100 feet until I sign off on it. Do you think I'm going to sign off on it for viral? You know what? It's not, we're not afraid of Riot City. We're not afraid of Riot City. They're just thugs. Two well-groomed professional wrestlers, champions in their own right. You just heard. You just said it yourself, Tank. You just said it yourself. Shane Mallis won a championship this weekend. You just said it yourself. And we're going to talk to Shane later about that. But anyway, you said it yourself, Tank. And you honestly think that Riot City has what it takes to step in the ring with the greatest tag team in professional wrestling today? Possibly ever? Viral? Pat and Shane, you know, they may not like this, but I'll do it for them. I'm going to get this, I'm going to make this match happen. I'm going to sound off. We're going to make it happen. Sports 17th Undisputed Championship Wrestling comes back. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe. Because when I'm done in February, Lord have mercy. I can't wait. Oh, and I wrote down. Let's go. I'll see you there. <laughs> oh, you you invited. He was invited. He has friends. He has friends. That that's game. That that works with the UWF. I don't care who his friends are that work with the UWF staff. United Wrestling Federation will be no more because Devereaux is out here with my crew burying these companies. PWX, UWF. So you want to step up now, UCW, Undisputed Championship Wrestling? You want to come back and try to challenge the Devereaux Committee? <laughs> Could have ever made. We're going to move on. I don't care. You fans, you got something to say about it? Give me a call. 347-308-8709. Email me, stephondevereaux at gmail.com. It's on. It's on. Let's continue with the show. Headlines. Oh, man. Speaking of lawsuits, Buff Bagwell and Ravens' lawsuit against the WWE has been dropped by the U.S. District Court of Connecticut. The two suit the WWE for unpaid royalties for the WWE Network, and this frees up the WWE to be able to put on uh, put up more content to the WWE Network. I had these wrestlers included, and now they can do that. Lawsuit was holding everything up. So you'll have more SmackDown, more ECW, WCW, um, or excuse me, uh, w, WCW Thunder, excuse me. Tank? Yeah. You pissed me off. Anyway, moving on. Rumors are Vince McMahon is completely in favor of the Woken Matt Hardy gimmick which debuted this past Monday night on Raw. See, Bray Wyatt is involved with this storyline, which is, oh, so incredible. And, uh, you know, last week I was talking about would Vince give this man creative control? Would he let him do whatever? Is giving him uh, creative control of this gimmick, which is rare in the WWE. Uh, that's just the rumors. Those are rumors that he's giving him creative control. I'll try to confirm that for next week's show. Uh, but Phil, Vince feels it's a way, a great way to cash in on a gimmick that uh, he didn't create. 
you know, and it's not broken Matt Hardy. It's woken Matt Hardy. Okay, we'll see what happens. Uh, continuing these headlines of stories, um, Rob Van Dam cites a recent concussion he suffered at an indie show. For the reason he's not in the WWE. Um, he also stated that he's not under contract with the WWE anymore. He had a merchandise contract. He's not under contract anymore. And uh, he said that contract ended back in July. Whew, man. Um, it was interesting. Also, Triple H, you know, put over the reins over in India. Uh, you know, they did the Indian, the India tour uh, this past week. And the match was interesting. You know, I seen the match, and I thought it was a pretty cool match. Uh, Roman went. He Roman looked good. <laughs> of course, he looked good. He was in the ring with Paul, so um, entertaining match. But afterwards, this is where the story gets better. Afterwards, you had Samoa Joe, Cesaro, and Sheamus. They jump Roman Reigns, come out, jump Roman Reigns, and they set Roman Reigns up for Triple H to come and you know get his licks in. But instead, Triple H. Came to the rescue of Roman Reigns. And then Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins hit the ring. And the four men content, I mean, just, oh, man, they beat him down. <laughs> they really beat down uh, Joe, Sheamus, and Cesaro. I thought that was kind of funny, but uh, they beat him down. And Triple H afterwards shook Roman Reigns' hand, which was cool. Uh, so the fans are, eh, they were, they were, you know what? I'm trying to think. The fans, they were entertained, but I don't know if they got it, you know. Um, but they were into it, though. I will say that. Um, PWX, <laughs> we're going to talk about them in the next segment. <sighs> Man, I can't wait. Uh, yeah, uh, I want to get into that. And we're going to talk about them in the next seg- in the next segment to give them some more time. And we'll do a couple of listener emails. Uh, but before we go to uh, give you a couple more rumors, uh, WWE is interested in Eddie Edwards when his contract runs up with TNA. Hmm. We'll see what happens there. Uh, fan worker. Do I think he would fit in uh, the WWE? I think he would fit more in with NXT than uh, the main roster, but we'll see what happens. Um, and also, Adam Pearce. Rumors are Adam Pearce is now producing the WWE 205 live events. Adam Pierce and I talked about him earlier, former NWA world champion, terrific guy. This guy's awesome. I love Adam. I think Adam is probably one of the uh, nicest guys. Um, I think he, he knows his business. He knows his business. You know, I've been watching Adam for over 20 years, and uh, I think this is a good move. I, I really think this is a good move for the WWE and Adam's career also. Uh, but we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to get into – what happened last night at PWX, Russell Plex, McKeesport, PA. And um, we're going to get in, into a couple emails. But uh, this is Stephon Devereaux here for the Devereaux Committee on Idiot Radio Network. You're listening to Idiot Radio, taking it to the edge and back. Looking for a creative idea for meetings, business lunches, and special events? Call Spiels on Wheels, food truck, and catering, and take the stress away. For more information, call them at 724-244-9881 or on Facebook at facebook.com slash spielson.wheels. Pizza and Gyro Express. 801 O'Neill Boulevard in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. For menus, coupons, specials, and catering info, visit our website at pizzaandgyroexpress.com. Order online or by phone at 412-672-2182. Don't forget about the lunch buffet and drink every Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. for just $10. The original Pizza and Gyro Express. Don't settle for anything less. Does your dog or cat need some much-needed attention and pampering? Money Paws, full grooming salon for dogs and cats. Featuring full-service dog and cat grooming, bath and brush, haircuts, nails, ears, teeth, and rear-end cleanup. All done with extra love and attention. It's Money Paws. Schedule an appointment today at 412-207-8250.
That's it. I am up. Oh, I'm so sick. I am so sick. I am so sick. Okay. So, I just get this announcement. Undisputed Championship Wrestling has just announced. March 17th, Big Time Tag Team Match has been announced when the Devereaux Committee members at Shane, I mean, excuse me, at Pat Anthony and hashtag Shane Malice, the team known as Viral will go head to head with Sicken and Vic Ramon, known as Rad City's most wanted. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, okay, okay, I'm not feeling this. I am not feeling this right now. See, Tank, you did not. Okay, 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 okay. Let me relax. Relax. We're going to finish, finish this show on a positive. On a positive. You know, I don't know if people want to, if I, if I really want to call this one a positive, because I was kind of duped. Yeah, I'll admit it. I was kind of duped. But <laughs> things got ooh, so much better. So last night, if you remember wrestling fans, the past couple of months, Myself and certain members of a great organization, not known as Pro Wrestling Express, ah, we were getting into some battles on Facebook, back and forth. Of course, I always won. I always win. I always win a debate. And uh, I got called out by the director of operations, Pro Wrestling Express, Quinn Magnum, sent me an invitation to come to the show, and I went. <laughs> But he didn't expect, he really didn't expect me to show up. And he didn't expect me to have help as well. But see, I was told by certain members that PWX was no more. Even Quinn Magnum was out there saying PWX was dead. So I figured, hey, I was thinking about buying the building. Yeah. Turning into the Devereux Committee of Pro Wrestling. Do live events up there in McKeesport. Yeah. I was enjoying this. And it wasn't a dream. It wasn't fantasy. Oh, God, I couldn't wait. Long story short, I was played. Yes, I was played. And I'm even more upset than I, w- I was then. But see, when I get upset, I get even. I handle business. Lee Morty, how you feeling, bro? How you feeling, Lee? <laughs> oh, man. How you feeling, Lee? Feeling good, aren't you? Good. So are we. <laughs> oh. But last night, PWX show, Quinn Maglum came to the ring, and he announced that after 23 years, Pro Wrestling Express is done. Of course, I celebrate it. Oh, of course I celebrate it. But then right after that, he said, Fight Society will begin on January 6th at the WrestlePlex. Are you serious? PWX is done. Fight Society is here. I was upset because I was duped because I really thought that I was going to be able to buy this building and, like I said, bring the Devereux Committee of Pro Wrestling there. But sometimes pain can lead to opportunity. Failure can lead to opportunity because Quinn Magnum went on to say this. <laughs> Yeah, Fight Society will begin on January 6th at the WrestlePlex. But here's the rules for Fight Society. There must be a winner for every match. By pinfall, submission, or by referee stoppage. (laughs) Quinn, and I hear it's open invitation as well. So you guys probably thought you got rid of the Devereux Committee, but you didn't. You had to open invitation for January 6th. I thank you for that. 
I thank you for that. And we're going to talk about that as that day gets closer. (laughs) I can't wait. I can't wait. January 6th, WrestlePlex Fight Society. I love a fight. I love a fight. I won't be fighting those damn thugs, though. Brad City's most wanted. I love a fight. I don't care how I have to do it. I want that building. I want to change it to the Devereux Committee of Pro Wrestling. The WrestlePlex should be mine. We should call it the Devereux Plex. I love that name. Yeah. The Devereux Plex. <laughs> anyway, we're going to move on. I got an email. Got a couple emails, but I'm going to go to this email here because uh, we talked about it earlier. The headline for the show, which was uh, the NWA World Championship, changed hands last night at Combat Zone Wrestling. But uh, here's what a fan sent in: uh, Devereaux, how do you feel about the NWA these days? Can Billy Corgan breathe some new life into professional wrestling? There's no name. It just says Millville. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um, you know, I say give it time. Give it time. I said it earlier. David Marquez and Billy Corgan, they have a plan. Uh, seem like they're going to go through with this plan. And all you can do is give these guys credit for what they're doing right now. They got some attention on the NWA. It's been years. It's been years since they've had this much attention on the NWA. I believe the NWA... Uh, I think you give it time and we're going to see something here. Um, okay. One more. Seriously. Why are these Roman? Okay. Uh, Devereaux, do you believe the WWE will ever stop pushing Roman Reigns? No. <laughs> Thank you, Ray, from Pensacola, Florida. Hey, we got somebody in Pensacola. What's up, Joe Scarborough? How you doing, bro? Anyway. Um, no, no, they're never going to stop. They're never going to stop. Roman Reigns is the guy. He is the man. And uh, I don't see that changing anytime soon. Seeing what happened in Abu Dhabi, uh, Triple H put him over, made him look good. He didn't do the same thing for my man, Jinder Mahal. But I want to thank you for joining us this week, wrestling fans. I can't wait to get into next week's show. I wish we can, you know, go for another hour. But I want you to have fun this week. Enjoy your fantasy football. Enjoy the games. Go Steelers. Prayers go out to my man, Ryan Shazier. I want to thank you for joining us here on the Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling.